Hey guys, I'm Matt, and today we got some Shen Gong Wu from Shaolin Showdown. If you don't know what Shaolin Showdown is, it's an old TV show that was on Kids WB, it was also on Cartoon Network, another show that I loved watching growing up. And it's about four Shaolin warriors, it's been a while since I watched this, so bear with me. And each one has an element. So there's Omi for water, Kimiko for fire, Raimundo for wind, and Clay for earth. And what they do is they find the Shen Gong Wu, which has different powers that allows that basically they're just trying to find them to protect it from the forces of evil. So it's like this kind of adventure storytelling, and it's, it's really good. What I have here is the Serpent's Tail, which allows you to go through objects and reversing mirror. Reversing mirror reverses all the power of Shen Gong Wu. So, for instance, Serpent's Tail can go through this mirror, but if someone used the reversing mirror, then it will become solid and it won't go through. Now, if anyone watched Shaolin Showdown, they will know the scene is one of the most, it was one of the turning points of Shaolin Showdown. And if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, and it makes no sense because, like, why would this be a turning point if you have the Serpent's Tail going through a reversing mirror? It just becomes solid. Well, you, you just have to watch Shaolin Showdown. Anyway, so over here, I actually made a motion study. So you can see it's kind of faded, the Serpent's Tail. And I made it so that it goes through. So I just play this, and it just goes through the reversing mirror. Now, in, in the show, that wouldn't happen if someone actually uses reversing mirror, it would actually become solid. But it's, I thought it was pretty cool, this animation, just because I'm using a mate controller. And I really like this feature, you know, being able to use distance mates and then turning it into an animation. So this video isn't going to be too long, I just want to show the Serpent's Tail real quick because I thought it was pretty neat. Again, it's not perfect. I mean, like this probably should probably be round, not just a box extrude. But for this purpose, I think it's good enough. So if I go here and just click on appearances, this is an advanced option that I thought was really cool where you could actually change transparency. So if I go to advanced in the illumination, you actually change the transparent amount. So I have 40%, but you can make it a lot more if you wish to. I'm just, this is the just the box that I chose, and that's why it's only showing this one. But I think it's pretty cool being able to like play around with this and see how it goes. Again, I'm, none of this is really fully defined. I mean, I almost fully defined things, you know, I, I, I tried, but it's like, a lot of work, you know? <laughs> Let me see if I can show this. And see, I, I define most of the things, and after a while I'm like, I just eyeball things. So this is from the fandom wiki. It's kind of slanted in the fandom wiki, and then I'll be like, this is good enough. Or just eyeballing it. So none of these dimensions are really like exactly, it's just random dimensions. and just makes it look good. Also have this in a rollback stake, because I'll try and draft it. But it looks kind of weird when I drafted it, so I decided against it. See over here if I push this back. Because in Serpent's Tail is not really exactly just boss extrude, there's also like some kind of curvature. But I just kept it like that. And that's pretty much all I wanted to show for this video. Just showing Serpent's Tail going through the facing mirror. And it's just basically, I have like a center line over here and then a point of, of this creating the mid control. But that's pretty much, pretty much it. Hope you all enjoyed this video and if you want any of these files, you can download it in the description below. And I'll see, I'll talk to you all in the next video. See ya.